we assess the impact of increasing temperatures on inflation in the euro area. So there are three reasons why this is very relevant. On the one hand, scientific evidence is clear. The climate is changing. Temperatures are increasing and extreme events have become more frequent. We've seen that across the globe. And in the near, term, near future, this is just projected to, to increase. There's also increasing recognition of um, the fact that climate change will impact the, the economy. But uh, the literature on inflation impacts is still quite thin, and so this is where we contribute. Our work also fits in the context of central banks' efforts to understand the macroeconomic consequences of climate change. So, for example, climate-related risks, understanding them and assessing them is one of the focus areas of the ECB's climate-related work. We propose an empirical econometric approach that allows us to assess the impact of hotter summers on inflation rates in Germany, France, Italy and Spain, which are the largest economies in the euro area. We find that a hotter summer has strong implication on inflation rates related to the food sector. Here we find that inflation rates related to unprocessed food react contemporaneously in the four economies that we consider and the effect of a hotter summer can last up to one year. Within this set of results, we find that the most persistent effect is related to inflation in Spain, followed by the inflation rate of Italy and France. For the case of Germany, we only find a short-lived effect. Now, moving to the case of processed food, we also find that inflation increases and it is persistent in France and Spain. However, this result is with a lack. This result might be associated to a delay pass-through of food price commodities onto consumer price inflation. Furthermore, we also find that hotter summers have also implications for core inflation. This is because services inflation increases and it remains persistent. However, these results are somewhat smaller than those related to food inflation. These results could also be linked to the increase of food inflation. This is because services HICP include a large portion of services related to food, such as restaurants, cafes and canteens. Going beyond services related to food, HICP services also include sectors related to recreation and tourism, which are also vulnerable to temperature shocks. Our findings have implications for price stability and the work of central banks more generally. So our finding of an asymmetric and heterogeneous response of inflation rates suggests that future climate change and um, more extreme weather under future climate change can increase the volatility of inflation and its heterogeneity across countries. Our findings um, also suggest that if summers in the future are increasingly hot, this could lead to more frequent and potentially even more persistent upward pressures on inflation. So what this really suggests is that there is a need for central banks to understand better and monitor the implications of climate change for price stability.